There are three types of KPIs that can be created in Business Portal with Dynamics GP. I'm going to show you how to create a list KPI. A list KPI is a list of one or more KPIs that can be displayed in Business Portal. To create a KPI, we need to go into Business Portal. I'm going to sign into Business Portal as that administrator. And what we want to do then is go to Site Actions and then go to Site Settings. In Site Settings, we're going to have all the settings for Business Portal. And we're going to select the KPI management area right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new KPI from scratch. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to create a query. Or I could use an existing query or an existing KPI. So what I'll do is I'm going to create four KPIs, one each for four salespeople that I have. So let's create the first one. I'm going to create a new query. Brings to this query wizard. And the first thing I have to do is select the business entity that I want to use. For me, this is one of the more difficult parts of creating a KPI is finding the exact business entity that you want. I'm going to select salesperson. And then the key thing in creating KPIs is that I need two essential elements. One is a dollar amount or an amount, and the second is a period of time. So to do that, I'm going to go down here and find a node that has those two items on it. I happen to know that the salesperson period summary has those two bits of information. I'm going to select the year and the period and also the dollar amount is going to be the commission sales amount. So let's select that. I'm going to hit next. That looks fine to me. And Because I'm going to do one for each salesperson, I'm going to put some selection criteria in here to get just for one salesperson and I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to assign it to a specific company. I'm going to assign it to Fabricam. hit next and then finish. Now what I'm going to do is I've got the query finished so the next thing I need to do is specify which column has the dollar amount in it. It's this one right here and that's going to be a sum and I want to show it as a piece of as currency. In the fiscal year column I'm going to select that as year here and then the period is optional but I want to include that so I'm going to select that here as well and then I want to select which of those periods I want on my KPI. I'm going to select these four. When I do that then it's going to bring up a area where I can put alert ranges in. So for perhaps, perhaps maybe I had a target value for these salespeople, I could enter that if I wanted to. I'm going to pass for now. I'm going to put the default recalculation right here as daily. This will be picked up by the process that can recalculate this automatically if you set it up. I'm going to have no related KPIs, but you can select a related KPI, which means when a user looks at the KPI, they will have access to others that may be related. I'm going to select the, the roles that will be able to see this. And then I'm going to store it in this folder here. So let's hit OK. So we can go look at that KPI here. This is one that we just created. And this is, has all the information that we specified during the creation of this. I'm going to hit Calculate Now. So we'll go out and calculate those values so that we can see those values. Now I've gone ahead and created three additional KPIs. You can see those listed here. I've got Aaron, Francine, Gary, and Greg. So the next thing is I've got these four KPIs and what I want to do is include them in a list of KPIs for Business Portal. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Finance Center page. I'm going to add them there and we'll see how they show up. So I'm here. I'm going to go to Site Actions. I'm going to edit this page and I'm going to add these right in the middle so we can see them easily. And there's three types of KPIs as I mentioned. And they're listed down here. The one we're going to use is a, last, is a list web part. We're going to select that. It's going to insert the new web part. 
and asked me to open up the tool pane, which we'll do here. I'll slide over to the right, and the first thing we need to do is select existing KPIs I want to include in this list of KPIs. Those are all in this folder here, and I'll just select these four. So I'm going to select and close that. The next thing we have to do is select the time periods that we want to show. And I'm going to select the four time periods that we selected in the KPIs when we created them. And then I'm just going to change the appearance here. better identify this web part. So let's hit OK, apply and then OK. It will add those KPIs into a list. You can see that here. Then let's exit edit mode and we can see the web page the way that the users will see it. And here you can see my list of employees listed here with the value associated to each salesperson. So this is a basic KPI list. It will take some time to make up those individual KPIs. But once you have them, you can easily include them in a list. So if you haven't tried a KPI in Business Portal, you should try this one out and see if you can get it to give you the results that you're looking for.